Hi folks, I am Fracture and this is Let's Play Two Worlds 2 on the PC. For much of the last video, I was messing around with my inventory, setting up gems and what have you. Probably the main thing is I got my bow quite leveled up, so I've got increased endurance accuracy and plus 10% accuracy on that bow, really nice. I now have poison resistance, elemental and physical resistance plus two. And I've got resilience plus two here. I'm not sure how helpful that is, but better than nothing. And I've got these gloves add a lot of fire and lightning resistance. So that's pretty nice as well. So that's the main stuff that I did. As you can see, the gems are piling up. Some of them not useful. I suppose I could really sell them, but for some reason, nice to hoard those. So rather than spend any more time on that. We're on to chapter three by the looks of it. So I'm trying to decide, should we do a couple of side quests or should we start chapter three and then return to the side quests? I guess what I'll do is I'll go to the teleporter and take a look at where he's sending me. If we're going to another island, I'm tempted to go and clean up some more of the university quests. We may not get a choice though after walking into this teleporter. Where is he? Yeah, okay. Okay, nobody here to visit us. Search nearby village for signs of life. And let's take a look at the map. That's not the map. It never is the map. It has never been the map. And it looks like we're on to the big island now. Um, well, I tell you what, for this video, let's poke around, see what's going on. And then... If you have a particular preference, do you want me to clean up the rest of these quests? I mean, there's some interesting sounding ones over here. And I, I certainly don't mind heading back to that island and cleaning up quests. If that's your preference, just leave a comment. Otherwise, we may just stick around here and see what's going on. But for this video, at least, I'm just going to sort of feel around, see what's, see what's happening. So, the nearby village is... Currently right down here and call me paranoid and let me check do I have blunt or piercing those are blunt and I'm using my piercing dread well he's way the heck over there and I think maybe let's get this hello out. they're poison these guys Dead, soon to be dead, dead. <laughs> what do we have here? Thyroids, goiters. All right, so this looks like another place where we're going to be ambushed all the time. Turgil or Turgil? Happiest place on earth. I see glittery things. Ooh, shiny. What's this? Looks like they left in a hurry. Wow, looks like they left recently in a hurry. Ah, sure. Now, one thing I'm thinking is, given this is an undead 
island, or at least our first impression is there's going to be some undead around here. My choice of death damage or necro damage probably isn't the best. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Might be worth switching. I know I've got some other... Yeah, see there's sacred damage or whatever it's called. we got frost damage, lightning, fire, so... Alright. Well, there's a marker here, right where I'm standing. But that might simply be the village marker. We made popcorn. Mm. It looks like I've got enough to upgrade some things too. I saw some upgrade markers, but it might have just been loot. Just loot. Yeah, okay. Too bad, one can hope. Oh, I should mention also if this is a bit laggy, I notice my fl frame rate's a little slow. I'm encoding videos in the background again, sorry. Uh, that's where we just were. Hello? Stay back, stranger. Easy. I'm just passing through. But how did you get here? Through the swamp. What is this place? Keep your distance. Nobody crosses the swamps. Everyone knows that. What the hell are you talking about? Gods help us. Listen. I can't. I have to alert the others. Others? We shouldn't even be speaking. It's about time you start giving me some answers. The priest. Talk to the priest. He'll want to see you anyway. Where is he? In the temple. There's only one. Alright. Bye. That looks... This is the temple, though, right? Because there's that dude. No, well, that must be the temple. By the gods, a new face in Tirgal. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. I was told you were the man to talk to. I seem to have caused quite the disturbance here. What is the yes, matrix? Yes, I thought I heard a bit of racket. His name is Aiden. He's always been a bit cautious. I can see that. We take great care not to disturb the creatures that reside there. If they saw you enter the village, if they so much as sensed your presence, they may attack. Creatures? Her servants. Her? <laughs> One problem, oh, if only. But I cannot explain now. I must perform the protective rites immediately. Perhaps they can save us once more. It's possible that you could undo the damage you've caused. What do you need? There is an artifact. An amulet. I understand one has come into Aiden's possession. Bring it to me, and I'll explain further. Well, all right. I'll see what I can do. Then perhaps there's still a chance for us. Hurry! What's so important about this amulet? It has great power in aiding protective spells. The metal has a recognizable blue tinge. It's titanium. What if I walk away now and let you deal with this? 
And you won't get very far. Whatever luck brought you here unharmed, don't expect it to see you out. <laughs> you are in the swamp of lost souls. What's going to stop me? The very curse that stopped so many before you. Once you enter the swamp, you cannot leave. You've become both a guest and a prisoner. There's always a way out. <laughs> that may be so, but I'll need to begin the right soon if you're to stand any chance of succeeding. When you return with the amulet, we may have more time for questions. Sounds like I don't have much of a choice. Okay, that might answer the question about should I go back and finish off some of those other quests. It sounds like perhaps I cannot if I wanted to. You again? Me again. I've spoken with the priest. He needs something from you. Bet I know what. The amulet, Aiden. The cheese Forget slicer it. of doom. You want one? Find your own. He specifically asked for yours. There's nothing special about mine. And I wouldn't trust it to a stranger. We're somewhat limited on options here. There's another way. As far as I know, only the creatures that roam the crypts have them. Lightning seems to attract the ones you're looking for. But, don't expect to get one without a fight. So, I should just wait here for the lightning to strike, while the protective rites in the village break down. Crypt attracts lightning naturally. At least it did, until we removed a metal spire. I thought it might keep the dead in their graves. If rising through the swamps as it is, and less walking corpses means less trouble for me. What if I reattach the spire? Then I'd say you'd have no problem attracting a bit of Melil's rage. But you're talking to the wrong man. I don't have it. Kulain added it to his heap of scrap metal a long time ago. The blacksmith may still have it, providing he hasn't melted it down. You're really going to make me go through all this trouble. Yep. This is your mess. You clean it up. How is it my mess? Would it really be so hard to just give me the one you have? To be quite honest, it's not about whether I want to or not. I can't give you my amulet because I need it to keep me safe outside the village. I provide our people with basic needs only found in these swamps, and without the amulet I'd be... Well, I'd rather not like to think about it. You're feeding this entire village? Yes. Not many are capable of handling themselves outside the priest's protective rights. How long have you been living this way? Funny. I can't say. Years, at least. Hard to keep track of time when the seasons don't change. So long, Aiden. Okay, so I think we know where the blacksmith is. That's... Unless I make a wrong turn, that's where we came in. He should be in this area. He should be in this area. Well, he's not the blacksmith, because he's a she. So you're the stranger I keep hearing about. It's keep been a long about? time since this village saw a new face. I'm Nayara. Boy, you must have got lost if you ended up here. It's a long story. Anyway, now that I'm here, maybe you could give me some information. I'm afraid I don't know much. You should probably talk to Aiden or Father Garadel. If anyone knows anything useful, they do. Been there. We've met. Hmm. In that case, perhaps try someone at the end. Sorry, I can't really chat now. Frankly, we're all concerned with your presence here, praying you didn't upset the creatures just outside the town. I'm doing what I can to rectify the situation. You are? Well, I have to attend to my duties now. I suppose you best attend to yours then. Well, my first duty is to What's rob this. this. And uh, she won't let me do that. 
that this is very much a blacksmith's area that is lacking a blacksmith. I wonder if his pile of scrap metal is nearby. Hmm. It's not obvious. It's not like he would keep it a long way away. Can't remember what did he what was the blacksmith's name? Spurious? Is this guy for real? Ha <laughs> ha! That's a joke. Oh, you're that new one, aren't you? Oh dear, oh dear. Is everything okay? What happened? What didn't happen? The beds. The beds, oh dear, oh my! Something I can help you with. The beds oh are dear, burning. Oh dear. Honey bumpkins won't like it. She Ugh. won't like it at all. Slow down. You're not making any sense. Honey bumpkins. I promised Honey Bumpkins I'd mop the floors by noon. And I still have the undersides of the beds to do. Oh dear, oh dear. You mean... your wife? You're scared because you didn't clean your house. Shh! Not so loud. Honey Bumpkins might hear. Oh dear, oh dear, I still have time. Maybe I can make it. If not, then... Oh dear, oh my! Honey Bumpkins will get angry again! Spurious, you... Oh, she'll yell! Oh dear, oh my! Alright, well... I suppose henpecked is a nice way of putting that. Well, when in doubt, let's, let's follow this flag. And see where it leads us. Nowhere interesting. Is me? Ah, look at that. One blacksmith. Allow me. Yeah, these things. <laughs> Not surprisingly. Well, we'll let him finish. Thanks, son. Save me from becoming a meal. Welcome. You're Kulain, aren't you? Sure am. Kulain the blacksmith. At your service. You're pretty far away from your forge. Came to get some water when the bastard got the jump on me. They don't usually come around here. I can fix that. But I need lightning to strike the swamp. Aiden told me about the old spire. Hell, I remember that thing. Aiden brought it a while back, said maybe I could use it. Turned out the thing only made the monsters come closer to the village. No sense keeping something like that around, so I dragged it out into the swamp and left it there. Where exactly did you drop it? Crow's Puddle, southeast of here. Not too deep, just a puddle of mud. But keep a lookout. The freaks are probably crawling all over the place now. I will. Thanks, Kulain. Alright, well that gives us something to do as always, in the next video. But before I end it, I am going to switch my bow over to something not death related. So let's get rid of this damage crystal and this damage crystal. And what are we going to use instead? Actually, let me decide outside because that interface sucks so bad. So we got, um, there's lightning 35, fire 35, so we've got like, lightning, frost, and I'm just trying to find a good combination here, and I, well, let's try this, that's probably the highest we're going to get. 50 plus 20, and it doesn't add quite that well. Oh, great. All the way down here, and it's at the other end. And I think I had a 20, right? There we 
we go. So let's see what we end up with. We end up with 46. 50 plus 20 equals 46. Gotcha. And yeah, what's the, well, fairly lame sort of effect on the bow there. Oh well. So that'll do for now. And in the next video, we'll try and find this puddle we were looking for. And we'll see you then. So I thank you for watching and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me a thumbs up. And we will see you next time. Have a good one, folks. Cheers.